is the tongue. So I'm just wondering if Nike realized that they maybe made a little bit of a mistake with this tongue. For all the parents out there, how do you stay healthy when your kiddos are sick? Give me your tips. This is the first, you can hear them coughing in the background. How do we stay healthy, Seth? Um, eat vegetables. Eat vegetables, wash hands, right? I'm a hurting unit, but we're gonna, it's like, you just gotta get through. You gotta, you gotta muscle through. Mama and baby are sleeping. I'm taking the boys to school. It's like, it's just, it's just, oh gosh, oh my goodness. Double, double fist in the way we like it, right, Joseph? Coffee, tea, coffee, tea. My throat hurts a little bit as well. That just started, I guess, last night. So we do do oil of oregano. That seems to help a lot. You mix it. Sometimes you mix it with orange juice or just water, just dilute it, like five droplets out of this. And let's get this going. And it just, like, I don't know, it helps the throat a little bit. Does anybody else do that? Oil of oregano. But be careful, because it can really, it can be really intense and kind of, burn a little bit. So one, two, three, four, five. Boom. Butter my bread, boys. A little time, though. Yeah, we still got a little time. First batch of oatmeal I've made in a long time. True love does all of this. Oh man, that's just not my thing, but I'm trying to figure it out, figure it out. By the way, we're gonna get to those Vimero 14s sooner rather than later. I'll give you the update, take them out for their first spin, the updated Vimero 14 from Nike. Good job. All right. Remember these, everyone? The old Vimero 14s from 2019 and even, gosh, 2018. So if you're new to the channel, just so you know, we've had a crazy saga with these Vimero 14s. Remember when this happened? For me, when I'm doing a warm up, uh, a lot of times I am carrying the shoes that I'm going to do the workout in in my hands to the starting line. So I used to do this in college and the habit has just continued forward. Well today I parked my car, you saw me there on the side of the road, and I wanted to do the time trial which is going to be a video that publishes at 3 p.m. today if you're watching this in the morning. And essentially what happened was I ran with these turbos down to the starting line down this creek path and lo and behold I somebody saw me hide my Nike Vimero 14s in the bushes. And so they're gone, they're gone. Somebody, that's right, they're gone. The Nike Vimero 14s, they're gone. Somebody took them, I hope you're using them. Whoever took them, I hope you're using them. And then the YouTube family pulled through in the clutch. I can't go buy running shoes all the time and therefore I could not replace the Nike Vimero 14s with a snap of a finger. Uh, you know, they're so they're $150. I'm just gonna say thank you Kip, thank you Susanna, and everyone else who has actually already donated to the GoFundMe page so that I can acquire these shoes back to get you guys a full review of the Vimero 14. That's right, a GoFundMe page was started to buy me new Vimero 14s. This was like over a year ago, so we were probably around like 10,000 subscribers in like in a day, maybe two days, you all pulled through in the clutch and made it happen. And so that's, that's these shoes right here, the old Vimero 14s, but the issue that uh, popped up was with the tongue of the shoe, a really, really major issue. I actually, I think I talked about it. I think the tongue, I know it's a small detail, but it's important. You don't want the tongue of the shoe moving around. The tongue on the Nike Vimero, for, Vimero 14 is too short. So it was a really serious situation in the old Vimero 14s with that tongue. Like I tried different uh, lacing techniques, nothing ended up working. Um, so I had to stop running in them. And then word got out that Nike finally updated the tongue on the Vimero 14. I wish they would have made a, maybe a little more publicity about the uh, about the update, but because I didn't, I didn't, I didn't really hear about it until maybe two or three weeks ago. So there it is. Let's take it out for a test. The new Vimero 14 tongue. See how it treats me, and hopefully the uh, lacing system uh, through the eyelet chain and the tongue all working together does not cut 
into the top of my foot. And just so everyone knows, this is definitely a long run or middle distance run type of shoe. Very good midsole protection. Uh, definitely heavy, so if you're looking for a lightweight shoe, this is not the shoe for you. Uh, but you can just see that stack height on that heel, like it's just a good chunk of, good chunk of zoom foam there. And uh, all right, here we go. Oh, yes. They're a little injury. Ooh. Ooh, that tongue feels quite nice. I'm feeling a little slick through the toe box. It's probably because of these compressed sport socks that I have on, but oh my, my. Okay, I notice an immediate, immediate difference in the tongue. Oh, interesting. Wow, okay, this is exciting. We've got the runner's knot going on. I'm back. That was uh, that was the windiest run I've been on in about a year. That was really, really rough. Oh, but we got it done. Recovery day, but uh, didn't feel like a recovery day because of that wind. Oh yeah. Ah. Oh. Living the good life. Oh my goodness, there they are, the Nike Vimero 14s. Before we dive in, do forgive me if I sound a little funny. Oh, I'm just congested, very congested, but we're gonna make it through for all of you. All right, here we go, Vimero 14, a long run shoe in my running shoe rotation. This is the 2018 iteration, and I believe this one was released December 2019, but I'm perplexed, and maybe somebody can help me out here. What's going on, Nike? Did you announce that you were updating the tongue in this uh, iteration? But it's the exact same shoe as this guy. The only thing they changed is the tongue. So I'm just wondering if Nike realized that they maybe made a little bit of a mistake with this tongue here in, from 2018 and decided, okay, we're gonna update it. And I'm just wondering, like, did they make an announcement on this? Because I was out of, the, I was in the dark. I did not hear that they were updating the tongue on this shoe. But and I'll get you my thoughts on how it performed today in a second. All right, uh, 840 a mile, 10 miles in the wind. Oh, it was a recovery day, but I just kind of threw the, threw the, this is, remember I said in a marathon training block, you're probably gonna have seven days in an entire block, maybe 10 at the most, where you just throw the run out the window and like whether it's the weather, whether it's because you're sick, whether it's because you are running late and you just don't have time, like it's just something that comes up in your life. Um, that was a, the case today. I didn't realize it was gonna be so windy today. Didn't know I was gonna wake up feeling like this. So anyway, I threw the run out the window, but we managed to survive. Now, instead of me rehashing all of the stats, if you are interested in the drop, the weight, how the shoe performed for me after the 50 mile test, you can go to last year, it's crazy, January 25th, 2019, I published the full review vlog of this shoe right here. So I would like to believe that my thoughts on the tongue from the Vimero 14 of 2018 maybe found its way through the Nike headquarters to someone who was in charge of designing this shoe and they realized, oh boy, this tongue is not working, not just for me and I, like there was a lot of other runners out there who had the same issue with this tongue. Uh, so what was the issue? It wasn't tall enough, okay? It wasn't tall enough, meaning the tongue, as I said, needed to come up about another half an inch, and it wasn't thick enough. It needed a little more um, for the way that the eyelet chain uh, laces over the top of your foot. I believed it needed a little more padding uh, through that tongue. Well, here we go with the updated version. Here is the new tongue on the Nike Vomero 14, and guess what? They did it. Nike, you did it. It is amazing. It was so comfortable. Um, I like, uh, a, and many of you know this, I like a nice lockdown feel as I'm using the runner's knot, right? There's the runner's knot right there. I don't like my foot to slip around in a shoe really at all. So as I was locking down my foot in 2018 and 19 in this shoe, uh, what happened was, and it, oh, it's a, it's a, <clears throat> excuse me, it's a medical term, 
but when you lace, I'll try and find it. I can't, it starts, I think it starts with a P, uh, but it's basically when you tie your shoes too tight, you can cause injury, like an injury on the top of your foot. And so I actually injured the top of my foot lacing up in this shoe because again, I like that lockdown feel. Well, today I, I wrenched it. I was, I laced up pretty tight and it was amazing. It's a taller tongue and it has a little more padding. I don't know, like, I don't know who Nike was listening to, but oh, I am so happy. Because again, this was one of my go-to long run shoes a year ago, and I just loved it, except for that tongue. And just a couple more points on the Vomero 14. Okay, maybe three points is the new colorway. I absolutely love that red and white versus the black and white. Also, it takes a little bit to get used to the ride uh, compared to, even, you know, really compared to like yesterday's shoe, the Asics Glide Ride that I ran in. Um, so keep that in mind. It's a, it's a unique ride, it, but once I got used to it a year ago, I really enjoyed the ride. And the reason I am running in this shoe is because the entire city of Denver is socked in ice and snow. And I'm exaggerating a little bit, but my go-to spot for training is the Highline Canal because it's dirt and it's just covered in ice right now. You can see it right now on your screen. And so therefore, through these challenging, difficult winter months when the trails are socked in and I'm trying to train for a road marathon, a fast road marathon, um, I need to be careful and vigilant of my bones because um, I'm running so much on pavement and concrete. Uh, I just want to make sure I'm giving my legs as much reprieve from the pounding as possible uh, on those harder surfaces during these cha oh, these winter months. As you can tell, I'm ready for spring. I'm really ready for spring. So anyway, that is an the other reason that I decided to buy this shoe uh, once again is the tongue, of course, and then just that extra cushion and uh, yeah, that extra cushion to help protect my legs through the concrete and the pavement. And on to that question of the day for all the running shoe fanatics out there. This question is for you. What is an innovation or an improvement that you would like to see for a shoe that you already love? So you love the shoe, but there's just one thing that needs to be changed on the shoe in order to make it that much better, okay? So this is where you can get creative, innovative, down in the comments, like think of all the shoes you run in, um, you know, in maybe this year or in 2019, whether it's a trail shoe or a road shoe, for example, well, okay, so the Vimero 14, this was mine in 2019, is this tongue, but just think, I think it's coming, everybody. We've been talking about this in the Q&As every week is, I think carbon fiber plates are gonna start showing up um, in, uh, in trail running shoes. I'm not saying that's an innovation that needs to happen, but I'm telling you, I'm actually surprised it hasn't already happened. So who knows if that's coming down the pike, but that is the question of the day. Thanks for hitting it up. I appreciate you all bearing with me through this sickness and uh, we're gonna make it. We are gonna make it. We are gonna make it. All right, everyone, we're gonna toss it back on the right. Actually, no, that is not how I do it. So I, we're gonna toss it back on the top, on the top to last year's full review of the Nike Vomero 14 right there. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you can click on my face right there. <laughs> it kind of sounds funny saying that, but I'd appreciate it. All right, everyone, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.